The idea of being flexible, being mobile, uh, working with cutting edge manufacturers like Focusrite, you know, is really appealing to us. So while 24 seven sound is a really a laboratory for creativity, it's also a very much a, a laboratory bed for technology. We have uh, four two man dub stages, one one man dub stage, an ADR stage, a Foley stage. What attracted me to Dante and RedNet over other IP protocols uh, basically was the simplicity of the Dante controller, uh, the plug and play nature of it. My rack size went from a 20U rack to a 6U rack. So the footprint's lower and the cost is lower and it's also much easier to uh, install. When we build out a room here at 24-7 Sound, we're really focused on uh, portability and mobility. So what really uh, attracted us to the Focusrite Red 4 Pre was that it took a whole machine room full of equipment and really simplified it down to one piece of hardware that fit in one rack unit space. The Dante capabilities, the, uh, the ability to connect to our HDX cards via DigiLink, the Thunderbolt capabilities that allow us to even work off of a laptop. All we need are speakers, the Focusrite Red 4 Pre, and a, a Mac Pro system. So it's really a beautiful piece of hardware that uh, we really love. This facility has three re-recording stages in it. All the facilities built exactly the same. Each one of the rooms has five Pro Tools systems in it. Three of the Pro Tools are used for playback, one of them for video, the other one for the recorder. The playback machines consist of two HDX2s, and both of those are interfaced to HD32Rs. Uh, those are the red net boxes that basically allow us to interface directly from the HDX cards into the red net environment. And we also use the same interface boxes for the recorder. In some post-production setups, such as an Atmos setup, there are hundreds of signals being routed. It makes it much simpler to see hundreds of signals on one screen, where they're coming from, where they're going to. And uh, being able to save that configuration is something you can't do with a traditional patch bay. So the simplicity of the Dante and the RedNet environment is the ability that we have in being able to scale it as we need it. The switches are very reliable. We have expandability within the switches to be able to interface more devices. Because of the fact that the network audio allows you to have self-discovery, all we have to do is use a Cat5 cable and patch it into the network. As soon as the device is discovered, it pops onto the software, we can see it, and we can easily route audio in and out of it. The collaboration for our team is critical. And uh, to, to do that, we really need a robust network and specifically an audio network such as RedNet that can really link our systems together and uh, back up that collaboration. Focusrite has been a longtime partner uh, for us, and so it was a natural fit for us to look to Focusrite to give us the kind of Dante connectivity and uh, headphone monitoring systems and just absolute out-of-the-box simplicity um, for creating these networked stations that could work on large feature films in a capacity where we need hundreds and hundreds of tracks of audio down to small projects where we're dealing with uh, a documentary or a, a VR project or something that requires just that level of, of, of minute detail. We're very proud to be a part of an industry that is providing a lot of entertainment value to um, consumers. A big part of that is utilizing technology such as network technology like this to really expand our abilities and capabilities to bring the client and the consumers a much better product at the end of the day.